so you want to sell your house in 2021. Keep watching for my top tips. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor. I make videos all about buying, selling, and trending topics in the real estate market. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a new video. Okay, so you want to sell your house in 2021. My number one tip, hands down, and make sure that you are writing this down, put it on the market. <laughs> because that's the kind of real estate market that we are in. It is a red hot seller's market. You actually don't even probably need a sign in the yard. You really just need to put it on the market. I just put a home as coming soon last night, probably around midnight. And I've already today had about 10 to 15 calls about it. It probably won't go active for another week to a week and a half. But I fully expect for this house to go under contract within 48 hours, if not 24 hours, considering how many calls and interest I've had in this house, because that's the market that we're in. Now, keep in mind that if you're getting all of these offers and you're accepting offers that are over 20 to 30,000 over asking price, that home still needs to appraise. So here are some of my tips to help that home appraise and get you the most amount of money for your home. So one of the things should be is curb appeal. Now, remember that appraisers are human. So the look of the home and the clutter and the organization, it definitely has an effect on the appraiser because it is based off of their opinion. Now, there are other parameters, obviously, that they're looking at, but a lot of times it is how it makes the appraiser feel. So having a little bit of curb appeal, whether it be trimming up the shrubs or putting down some new mulch or maybe just power washing the house, that's definitely going to help you when it comes appraisal time. Also consider hiring a professional cleaner. And the reason I say this is because no matter how many times you try and clean your home, a professional cleaner coming in is going to do a better job. Um, unless you own a cleaning company and which means then yeah I would definitely clean your own home but it the cleaning is definitely going to help also with the appraiser and it's going to smell good and even when buyers are coming in it's going to make them feel like they can picture their stuff especially in the time that we're in right now with COVID uh, it makes people feel comfortable when the home smells great and it looks clean something else to consider and I actually did a video on this and I will link it right here is your paint color choices. If you have a red kitchen, I would consider painting it maybe a gray or a beige or a lighter color to brighten it up because red is the number one color that will get you the least amount for your house. So by, sorry, I have something in my eye. So yes, I would definitely consider changing any color in your house that is a red into maybe like really right now, blues and grays and beiges are definitely gonna get you more for your house than red. Also a fresh coat of paint will help the home to seem cleaner and brighter and more inviting. If you are thinking about staging your home when you declutter, I do recommend keeping that stage, those staging items out until the appraiser has come through. A home that is empty a lot of times doesn't get the same feel as when there are items furniture in the house. So by keeping those items in there until the appraiser comes, you will hopefully be able to get the most amount of money for your house. Try to look at your home with a fine tooth comb. For example, if there's a settlement crack and you can cover up that settlement crack with spackle, it will help you in the long run if you are trying to get 50, you know, 30 to $50,000 over asking price for your house, because that is the number one thing that's happening in this market currently is people are getting, sellers are getting multiple offers. They're going under contract for way over asking, and then they aren't able to get that appraiser to appraise that house for what they need or what they want. So by doing these small little things, you will be able to hopefully sway the appraiser to get that number. 
So one of the tips that I keep in my back pocket, and I don't know how many other agents actually offer this, but I try to sway my sellers into going into coming soon status. Even if it's just maybe 24, 48 hours before you go active, just to gain some interest in the property. Now, granted, I understand that this market is red hot and no matter what you put on the market right now, whether it be coming soon or active, you're going to have interest, but you are able to grab some maybe some buyers that could see that property through the pictures and maybe put an offer site in unseen or even just put an offer in because for example, I had someone call me today that said that their buyers had lost out on 16 different homes, 16, and that they were desperate to find a home and they were dying to get into this one. I, I can't imagine being a buyer right now and losing out on 16 different homes. Like that's, that's crazy. Um, but that just shows you how desperate buyers are and then how hot the seller's market is. So if you are thinking about selling your house, if you've even thought about it, if you're just maybe like do it, put your house up on the market. I promise you it is going to sell. There is like no doubt in my mind, it's going to have multiple offers. It's going to sell for over asking and you're going to to make out in the long run. And remember, just keep those, do those little things, curb appeal, painting, cleaning, decluttering, and obviously hiring me as your agent. <laughs> if you're in Delaware. <laughs> All right. So that about sums it up for selling your home. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a new video. If you are thinking about selling your home and would like me to represent you in the transaction, be sure to either shoot me an email, which my email address is right here, or comment down below and we can connect that way. Thank you so much and I will see you on the next one. Hey, were you wondering if you should sell your house in 2021? Check out this video right here. And if you're interested in Delaware new construction, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.